No, really, I should go and change. I'm so sorry. How was she that evening, Helen? Please, I need to know. Daniel, no. no! I thought it would make things worse. You know what's unbearable? It's not knowing. How was she that evening? Happy. We went dancing and then swimming, and then it got cold, so she went to the villa with Matt. And then what? You went back too? Yeah. Did you see it? Mm. You don't have to worry about hurting me. I couldn't feel worse. Please, please tell me how she was. Um, she was, she was drunk. We all were. So she was happy. That's how you remember her. Yeah. Don't tell me anything, but please, I need to know. What did she say? We rowed. About what? Helen, Helen, please. But, but she was drunk. She, she, she didn't know what she was saying. Tell me. She was like? it, it was my fault because she liked Rob, the guy that I was with. So she went for you. Did she hurt you? I told her something and she promised that she swore that she wouldn't tell anyone, but then she started to with Rob and then we rowed and then she went back to Matt's room. No what? Well, I, I, um, I went to sleep by myself. And um, when I woke up, I heard Carla and Matt arguing. What about? I, 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 I don't know. But um, then I heard her laugh. And I left. Did you call her? No. No, how, how could I? She was with him. Well, she'd have heard you leave, wouldn't she? Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't think so. Mom. What happened next? <laughs> I left the villa. Yeah, but it's all starting again, though, isn't it? No, you'll be fine, Matt. How do you know that? Ow. How do you know that, Ow. Helen? Ow! Helen! You all right? Daniel. What's the matter? 
Um, nothing, nothing. I'm fine, I'm fine. What's going on? Um, nothing. It's just a bit strange seeing everyone again, that's all. If you know anything about him or his friend, if he's trying to stop you from saying something, you must tell me. He's just upset, that's all. Take your seats, please. Come and see me later. First of all, I'd like to extend my condolences to those amongst you, to make them friends or relatives of the deceased. And for the benefit of those who have not previously attended a coroner's court, so a few words about the here today to exercise a solemn First duty all, to represent the, the dead. Yes. Seek on behalf of Carla French to establish exactly how and why she died. You brother! Well, Matt laughed and Rob will be laughing too. Shall be hearing statements from witnesses, from experts, sisters. <laughs> Uh. Ah! 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 that Mrs. French's brain had received a major contra coup trauma. There were also minor cuts and bruises, but the head injury was particularly severe. Do you think it could have killed her? I can't say conclusively, but the evidence strongly points that way. <laughs> What's interesting about this type of injury is that the brain hits one side of the skull and then ricochets back and hits the opposite. <laughs> Why is that significant to us? Basically, this type of injury could only occur if Mrs. French had been standing. I see, and the lorry driver believes that she was already lying in the road. Yes, which suggests she sustained her injury before the lorry's load hit her. I think her injury was inflicted by another person. The minor cuts and grazes indicate that she may have been in a fight not long before. Please continue. The blow was probably delivered with a rock. It was an overarm blow to the left side of the face. If I could demonstrate. Something like this. The injuries sustained to the soft tissue at the left temple are consistent with a blow struck using the right hand by an assailant standing in front of the deceased. The force of the blow... You told me that you thought he'd done it. No. You heard them arguing. He, he could have gone after her. No. No, you told me that you thought he was capable. You said that. Come on, get in the car. You said that. And you told me you thought he was innocent. So what changed your mind? There were things that I didn't remember. Things. What things? What things? What things? When I was down on the beach, I'm sure that there was blood on his shirt. Crap. Hey, Matt was nowhere near where Carla was killed. How do you know? Because he was with me. No, you told me that you didn't know where he was. Hey, that was then. You're covering for him. What about you, Helen? You left the villa before any of us. If you were with Matt, that gives you an alibi too, doesn't it? What were you going to tell Matt, Helen? Helen, what were you going to tell Matt? You can't just run away, Helen! Sorry I left like that. I just needed some air. No, it was a shock. You didn't know those details. You know, they say she thought Carla was killed. They've got a body, Helen, her clothes. There'll be DNA, fibers. Please will find something. Yeah, I know. It'd be fantastic. 